Hi, and welcome back to my page. It's me, Shante Maria, and I just wanted to do this quick video. I've been meaning to do this for a few days, but just confirming what we already knew, that these reality shows are fake as fuck. Ain't no reality, like, ain't, ain't none. Ain't none. Ain't nothing realistic about this. Ain't none of this stuff happening in their real life the way that they say is happening. Like, I mean, <laughs> this is absolutely ridiculous because oh shit don't give a fuck. Like, <laughs> so if you watch um, VH1's um, Blacking Crew, so you should know who oh shit is, Richard Duncan, whatever. So y'all know all of a sudden he comes back to New York uh, without his so-called wife talking about they've been separated for nine months. <clears throat> okay, been separated for nine months. He don't talk to her. He, you know, talk to her or whatever. And then all of a sudden she's nine months pregnant and, and is in labor and hits him up like, oh, babe, by the way, I'm in labor. I need you. I need you. So then he rushes down to Atlanta where they currently reside to be there for this baby that he like, he like, he don't even know if it's his, but that's his wife. Da, 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 da. Everyone else is in the shop. It's acting all surprised. Like, oh my God, you need a DNA test. You've been gone for nine months and she's currently nine months pregnant. Are you sure that's your baby? What's really good? What, like, what you doing, bro? What you doing? What's like, legit? Like, I would be worried. <laughs> I would be concerned too if my homeboy talking about he left his wife in Atlanta nine months ago and the bitch is nine months pregnant. I'd be like, yeah, you don't have to get a DNA test for that. Like, I understand you want to be there for the birth just in case it's yours, but after that, you might want to go ahead and swap them cheeks, boo boo. Like, <laughs> so yeah, but even when they were saying that, like, um, she had the baby, they came to New York. Which I kind of thought was weird that she just had a baby and then they just came to New York to do a whole sip and see with a brand new baby. And these niggas don't even like Nikki. Like, come on now. Like, <laughs> if I was Nikki and this is my husband and no one at the shop likes me. Like, we saw that last season. They was going into her talking about she had a whole nother son and this, that, and the third. And they constantly are disrespectful towards her. I'm not taking my newborn baby up to New York just in the cold. And the fucking cold from Atlanta so y'all can bash me. And then plus she was just too damn calm anyways. Like, when they were like, oh, I don't think that's O'Shea's baby. She was just really calm. I would've been like, bitch, fuck you. <laughs> but... I think it's because, I mean, they, we already knew, like, I mean, we can't even really, honestly, truly be surprised, but, like, let's get back to it, y'all know I get sidetracked, I get sidetracked, <laughs> but, like I was saying, oh shit doesn't give a shit, <laughs> like, <laughs> so he posted this a few days ago on his IG, and he, first the comments were on here, he cut the comments off, and he says, summertime with her and Nova, throwback Thursday, right, pregnant as hell, pregnant, well, maybe not as hell, probably a little five months, still pregnant as hell, fuck that, she did, and, um, yeah, resting his head on her stomach or whatever, but you didn't know your whole storyline this season was you didn't know your wife was pregnant until she called you when she was fucking nine months and then labor. So what the fuck is this bullshit? Oh shit, like, who the, what the fuck? <laughs> and not only that, he confirmed it. I'm gonna have to go to the screenshot because... I was scrolling through my IG and I had to, I had some things and I um on this post uh I couldn't find my comment on it or his but he posted this um a day ago and it says look how much we've grown thanks rebel eight for the gear or whatever shit he wearing okay now the baby favors him to me. She look kind of like bright like Nikki. He chocolate. She ain't, you know what I mean? That that's how it goes. Like my child is more like one of my kids is more a little bit lighter than me. Y'all know how we black. <laughs> so our genes work differently. Just because he's dark and she light, that don't mean the baby gonna come out dark. Y'all get it. Y'all get it. Y'all know we are all colors of the rainbow and it's so beautiful. But the little girl is gorgeous. I'm not talking about the baby. She's gorgeous. 
But um, so <laughs> this is what threw me off. Biracial Barbie 3 said, I would still get a DNA test, bro. I don't know what type of woman would keep the majority of her pregnancy a secret from the father. It's just not logical in any way, shape, or form. If it, if, oh shit, if that was offered TV, then I get it. But if not, then you, you know what you need to do. And, um, but basically he replied back, it was like, keep TV for TV. So I think we all know what that means. Keep TV for TV, keep TV for TV, because it's a stage, it was for TV. It, it ain't real life. You know, so people get caught up in these storylines. I mean, like, I still be watching the whole time I be watching. I'm like, this shit is sick as hell. But <laughs> honestly, there's certain things that I don't think is fake. Like, let's say with um, Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, when Shooter's son died. I'm sorry, but I don't think you about to stage a whole ass funeral and people crying and he's mourning the death of his son. Like, I think stuff like that is real. I still wouldn't invite cameras for that. That's kind of personal. Or even with Miss Dead, still from Love and Hip Hop, um, Atlanta, when her son committed suicide. Like, it's certain things that you can't fake that happens in people's life. But this shit right here, that was all fake. And he confirmed it. Like, he doesn't give two fucks. Not one fuck. Not that he doesn't care. <laughs> like, he doesn't care. He just confirmed, like, yeah, it's for TV. Now leave me alone. <laughs> Don't talk about my wife. Don't bash my baby. Like, it is what it is. I'm like, and that's crazy. Like, should they have, like, some type of disclosure like that they start to not give away this type of information because it'll make people stop wanting to watch because we sitting there and we like yeah that can't be right i'm even hearing that uh kirk and rashida and uh, jasmine shit is all fake that um that's not kirk's baby but it's like how y'all bringing kids in this i don't understand <laughs> i don't know but vh1 is making a lot of money off of these fake ass re reality shows well yeah just confirming what we already knew. So sad. <clears throat> so sad. But anyways, <laughs> I'm about to be out of here. So thank you for tuning in to this video. If you haven't already, go ahead and click the subscribe button. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.